So I have a, a Genmetsu Z5-1 Galvo laser. It's actually described as a fiber laser. Um, this runs on CCAD or a version of CCAD. Uh, that's supplied software with the uh, with the machine. Um, for, for my other lasers, I have two. I have an LED um, laser and also a CO2 laser. I use Lightburn. Now, Lightburn have just done an upgrade uh, to run my Ruida controller on my um, CO2 laser. I have a had to buy an addition to look to the basic Lightburn to run it, and I believe that's called the professional version of of Lightburn. Um, but the Galvo, when they were talking about introducing it, was actually extra money. But in the kindness of their heart, they've included um, the Galvo and the Ruida control provision of Lightburn in version 1.7. This happened as of the 1st of October 2024. This is the 2nd of October 24, and I only realized this morning that they'd done it. Um, so I'm going through the process of upgrading. The upgrade has happened. It actually failed on my main computer. This was due to a C++ error and I had to reinstall my C++ libraries um, that I found on one of the forums and that worked successfully. Uh, version 1.7 now runs happily on that computer. Um, so I'm going to try and configure Lightburn to run with my Genmetsu Z5-1. Not sure how how that's going to go, but we'll we'll try and do it. So I'll turn the machine on. It's always quite noisy this thing. I'm ca just in case you're wondering, that thing there is my version of an XY axis, so that you can position the piece accurately and hopefully not knock it when you put a new piece of work in. The, uh, the working area of the Z5-1 is only 70 by 70, so it's only a small, small machine. But, um, yeah, so that kind of has worked quite successfully for me. I, I should, should improve it and come up with something a little bit more accurate, really, but it, but it works, so I'm happy with that. Anyway, I digress. We'll add the new laser, so I'll go to Devices, find my laser, scan for a new device. So it says there version 1.7 and it's found it interestingly it calls it a, a Galvo but 110 by 110 so that must be their default I assume so I'll add that device okay now we want to import a CCAD config file I found this previously it's in the downloaded files sorry in the provided files that came comes with the, the Z5-1 so I'll just do import that. Okay, when you go to the Z5 files, it's under Windows, Software, and there it is, BSL CAD config. So we open that. Press the next button. Give it a name, I'm gonna leave it as BSL Fiber. It says it's detected that the working area is 70 by 70. Origin at front left. Okay, I'll worry about that later. Finish. Okay, so now in my list of lasers is a BSL. All oh, right, and that showing the work area of 70 by 70. So we'll just draw something in the middle of my screen. Right, that's an error because I haven't got my output showing. And now it's not going to let me stop doing that. So I'll say, oops, escape. No. Okay, got a problem already. I'll just turn the Gen Metsu off. Now it goes away. So that layer there needs to be set to output. I see, interesting. So power the machine back on. Got it selected. Okay, now you see it's continuously running. I've read about this. 
first time I'd actually see it doing and it's eventually going to mark the piece of MDF there and if you press stop it doesn't do it actually done it 11 times 12 times so it's all a little bit weird this is it's not quite what you expect so we'll stop that the only way to stop it actually cutting is to turn the power off close oops close down light burn oh, brilliant restart light burn uh, yeah we'll load it okay so we go to um, edit device settings and then ports and laser settings and you'll see here start marking to that set to heart you set that to none okay and draw something set it output turn the laser back on and now at least it's not not running I press start you have bounds which is always a square outline sorry hole that is doing that and then contour don't quite know what contour does at the moment anyway we can now press close and it stops it stops running progress <laughs> so I'm going to delete that and I'll bring in from my art library one of my standard key rings there it is so that's just a key ring we make from time to time it's not a particularly good seller or anything I'll ungroup it select the outer and go to laser and then frame this is how it works so you can see it's actually doing a frame and I can then position more or less this will be the centre close I'll get one of my blanks that's just it's black acrylic peel one side off So that's running at set to fill, has a speed of 50 and a power of 100. I'm going to need to tweak this, it's not going to be perfect the first time I'm sure. Seems to be doing an outline. Not doing a double thing. This I'm going to need to experiment with. I don't quite understand what it's doing now. But anyway, it works and is a work in progress. I hope that helps somebody who's just trying to get this started but uh, perhaps you can make some suggestions to improve my experience with it too. So, anyway thanks for watching and like and subscribe would be great thank you. And that's the result. <laughs>